Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Chrome. In this video, we're looking at keyboard shortcuts in Google Chrome. Although I use a Bluetooth mouse any chance I get, there are times when I am mouseless. I might be on the go, or on a plane, or just somewhere that doesn't have enough room for that helpful input device. In such situations, I have learned to take advantage of keyboard shortcuts, and thankfully, Google Chrome has a large amount of shortcuts we can use. Some of these have proven to be so helpful that even when I do have my mouse, I have found that it is easier to just use a quick key combination to get something done. In this video, we're going to look at some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts for Google Chrome. I'm sure there are several that I'm going to miss, so please let me know what your favorite shortcuts are and how you use them. And note, for this video, I used my Windows computer, so anywhere that you see me mention using the Control key, you can just swap that out for the Command key if you're on a Mac. So usually when you click on a web link, the new web page opens up in place of the page you're currently on. Sometimes, though, this is not what you want. For example, you may have a page with lots and lots of links on it, and you want to investigate many of them. By holding down the control key when you click on a link, it will open the link into a new tab in the background. You can go down the page control clicking on as many links as you want, and each one of them will open up in a new tab waiting for you to explore later. Speaking of lots of tabs, if you have a lot of tabs open, it can become a challenge to manage and navigate through them. There are a few helpful keyboard shortcuts in Chrome that can help with this. First, pressing the Control and Tab key together will jump you to the next tab to the right of your current tab. Now, pressing these keys repeatedly is an easy way to cycle through a large set of open tabs until you get to the one that you need. Another option to move through tabs is to hold the control key and press the numbers 1 through 8. As you press 1 through 8, it will jump you to the tabs numbered 1 through 8 in your current window. Now that only works for the first 8 tabs, so if you press control 9, that will actually jump you to the rightmost tab in your current window, no matter how many tabs are open. And one more shortcut for tabs, if you accidentally close out of a tab, you can press Control, Shift, and T, and that will automatically reopen the most recently closed tab. Now, if you press it multiple times, it will continue to reopen tabs in the order that they were closed. Sometimes it can be difficult to see what's on the screen, whether for yourself or when you're displaying your screen for others to see. Chrome has some shortcuts to make it easy to zoom in and out of the browser. First of all, pressing Control Plus will zoom you in. Each time you press Control Plus, everything on the page will get bigger. Now, Control Minus will do the opposite. Each time you press Control Minus, everything on the page will get smaller. And if you ever need to get back to normal, you can press Control Zero, and that will return the page to the default size. Sometimes a Google search will bring you to the perfect website, but unfortunately the web page is so long that you still can't find what you're looking for on the page. Thankfully, we can use the shortcut Control F. This will open up the find bar so you can type in a search term to search on your current page. You can then use the up and down arrows in the find bar to jump to each place in the page where that word shows up. Another challenge with large web pages is once you get to the bottom, it can take a super long time to scroll back up to the top. Well, if you just press the Home key, it'll jump you all the way back to the top of the page. And if you press the End key, it'll jump you all the way down to the bottom. Now, usually I do not keep my bookmarks bar visible. Under normal conditions, I find that it just takes up room that I could be using for other things. 
However, when I do need my bookmarks, it is nice to be able to quickly open and close the bar. By using Control, Shift, and B, you can toggle between showing and hiding the bookmarks bar. And finally, we can use the shortcut for printing to help us save a nice PDF version of a web page. I like to use the Post Light Reader extension to clean up web pages so that they're easier to read and do not have any distractions. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to save a cleaned up version of the page. Well, what I can do is press Control P. With this shortcut, we can open up the print window where we can choose the Save as PDF option to print the page to a nice clean PDF. And that's it. Now again, I am sure there are lots of other keyboard shortcuts that you use in Chrome, and I would love to hear your suggestions for the shortcuts you use and how they help you and your students. Hopefully though, you found these shortcuts to be useful. And be sure to check out the rest of the blog posts and videos in my series on Google Chrome to pick up more tips and helpful ideas. And for all the rest of my educational technology resources, be sure to visit my site at controlaltachieve.com, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, sign up for my email newsletter, and check out my book, Control Alt Achieve, Rebooting Your Classroom with Creative Google Projects. Thanks so much and take care.